Well, there you go. Happy New Year, everybody. It is 10.54 p.m. on New Year's Eve. We just returned from a New Year's Eve party, and I just wanted to let you know that today's vlog uh, was beautiful, amazing day, but kind of eclectic, and I'm not sure what the story actually is. So we're figuring it out as we go. I'm just going to roll the tape, let you discern what I was trying to communicate. Fair enough. Roll the tape. In a winter wonderland. I don't always. This is so fun. I don't always wear a coat, but when I do, he does it right. It sir. has fur. Come on. It, it has because fur. Because you know what? It's freezing out, and Colorado, we love you. We're off to a uh, morning New Year's Eve For date birthday. night, and it's finally snowing in Denver. Ah, All right, here we go. Here's the white Christmas that we right. wanted. I know this is day late and a dollar short. <laughs> huh? Thank you. Uh, Cheers. Ah. Hello. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Feel better. All right, true love. Yes. Oh, delicious breakfast. Oh, so good. So what's fun. your What's your New Year's message to everybody? What do you want to say? Happy New Year. Be kind in your tone and words to others. Oh, that's good. And we love you. And listen, life is too short. Like if something's bothering you or making you fussy, as I would say, <laughs> just let it roll off your back. Let it roll off your back life in the is, New Year. Uh, yeah. Every time that happens, just say three things you're grateful for. And I'm telling you, life is good. It's like turning a page in the book. <sighs> Just trying to wake up for the new year. Wake up for the new year. I just recorded about two to three minutes of video talking to you guys about the live stream and I don't think the microphone was plugged in. And it connects directly to what I'm about to tell you. I love the creative side of cinematography and producing a daily vlog for all of you every single day. I do not enjoy the technical side. It is not my strong suit. It is not where my talents lie. Therefore, uh, thank you for your patience at the live stream tonight. 6 p.m. Mountain Time, so 8 p.m. East Coast, 5 p.m. West Coast, and then if you're in Europe, get a cup of coffee and stay up late. No, I'm just kidding. You can watch it hopefully later. They will let me uh, publish it on the YouTube channel later. But anyway, I'm striving for quality. I want you to be able to hear me in the live stream, so I'm going back to Best Buy to purchase a different cable. I did not buy the right cable. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. On New Year's Eve, we're running around like a chicken with our heads cut off. And my computer has HDMI mini as well. I double checked. Um, new external hard drive for the new year. New external hard drive. All of my files for the video production will end up on this. Basically, this will last me about six weeks. <laughs> Four terabytes. So I am setting up for the live stream. This, I'm filming this on December 31st, but this video is publishing on January 1st. Therefore, tonight, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, so when you're watching this, if you're watching it on Tuesday, tonight, 6 p.m., the first live stream on this YouTube channel ever. I'm trying to figure out, just so you know, the technical side. I've never done a live stream, and so there's a lot that goes into it. So tonight, just be patient with the audio and the video quality. We're only gonna go up from here. We're only gonna go up from here, but there's a lot of technical side behind live streaming that I didn't quite anticipate 
when I announce the live stream. So we're gonna figure it out together though. We're gonna figure it out together, but that's what I'm doing right now. All of these cables and everything. And <laughs> anyway, just bear with me. There's, I, I think it's this week when we do it, um, it'll be good, but then moving forward, it's only gonna go up from here. It's the bottom line, bottom line. While we're here sledding, might as well get a little plyometrics in, right? Start the new year off right, we're gonna get some plyometrics in. Do you know what that is? Yeah. Some uh, form exercise. Let's go, come Let's on. Go. Uphill bounding, working on that uh, suppleness, suppleness, my friends. Woo! <laughs> we did it! Good job. Okay. Pull up. Enough bounding, enough bounding. We gotta go get warm. All right, guys. Happy New Year! Thanks for coming here. No, don't. No. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It's done, 2018 is in the books. What a year it has been. Oh, what a year, oh my goodness. Like, every year is filled with incredible challenges, right? Whether it's in life, running, we all have challenges in this world. But if we open our eyes to the incredible moments, the incredibly beautiful moments of this world, and sometimes it, they are hard to find, I, I realize that, but I don't know, I'm, I'm grateful. It's been a good year. It's been a tiring year. I will just call a spade a spade. It's been a tiring year, uh, you know, with the vlog and with running and oh my goodness. But it's it has been a great, great year. And I hope you had an incredible year wherever you're at around the world. Um, and I don't know, I, I'm just amazed at how much we can accomplish every year if we put our, our mind to it. And listen, there's 365 days in a year, and in the grand scheme of life, like that's not many of our days, um, but we can still get so much done, we can still shoot for so many goals in a 365 day period. So, I don't know, I'm just grateful for this year, for 2018, and uh, I did, this is crazy, and I know, so, kind of a different side story, I gave up something in 2018 as a personal challenge, just to see if I could do it. Like, I just wanted to challenge myself in a new way, and listen, I think a lot of ultra runners out there, even a lot of marathon runners, and you listen, not, not, not the high schoolers out there, but for us older folk, we can enjoy a good, brewski every now and then, a good beer every now and then, and it's really nice after a hard ultra race to put down a cold beer, right? You know what I'm talking about. And maybe you don't like beer and that's fine too, trust me. But I gave up beer for 2018. I gave it up. I have not had a single beer for 365 days. And listen, like, I like beer. Um, I try to keep in moderation. It's all about moderation, right? We can't be drinking too much, but guys, I've been saving this for you. I've been saving this for you, so let's crack it open. Happy New Year's. This is my first beer. You're witnessing it right now in 365 days, and it's been, uh, it's been an interesting journey with giving up beer for a year. Oh, there it is. There it is. Don't worry, this beer is not a year old, but, uh, all right, the first sip. Let's see how I see how it tastes. I just uh, anyway, it's just it's just uh, I'm just grateful that I was able to have the frankly as runners the discipline to say no. Like I think it's a really really good thing to be able to say no to things um, and to build that discipline into our, that virtue into our lives as runners, so that we can get out there and hit those miles when it's you know below zero, like it's gonna be tonight here in Denver. So. Oh, cheers. Woo! It's a banquet beer. Coors Banquet, you know, Denver, Colorado. You know, you know, you know. Oh, that was good. That was good. All right. Ah, wow. Interesting. That's crazy. It tastes good. It tastes good. And as we close out 2018, the keyword, the keyword, it must be grateful. Grateful. 
Ah, there's so much in this world to be grateful for. Even though there's challenges, you know, maybe you lost your job in 2018. Maybe you, uh, you know, maybe there was a tough relationship you had to work through. Maybe you didn't do so good on your final exams last semester. Maybe you had a bad injury and you couldn't run for months on end. I don't know what the case might be, but there's challenges in this world. I get it. I get it. I get it. Plantar fasciitis. Oh, so painful. But at the same time, if we can open our eyes a little bit, just a little bit, and actively make a decision in 2019 to remain as grateful as possible, that we can put one foot in front of the other, one foot in front of the other. I'm telling you, 2019 is gonna be a great year for all of us, for all of us. And the question of the day, question of the day, last one of 2018, thanks for answering down below. Oh, you know what it is. What are you most grateful for from 2018? What are you most grateful for? Maybe one from life and one from running, all right? One from life, one from running, all right? For me, Miracle Michael being born, that little baby, oh, that little baby coming into the world, that was my highlight of 2018. And on the running side, uh, a lot happened in running, a lot happened in running this year, but without a doubt, hands down, no questions asked, is finding you guys, is finding you about 75 days ago after publishing 925 vlogs in a row and just kind of figuring out what am I doing here and then beginning to focus a little bit more on running or a lot more on running and thank you by the way for all the old long time viewers who have been with us from the beginning and understanding this focusing of this YouTube channel down more to running content. I appreciate you sticking with us but I am grateful that yeah, I have found you guys, like you out there, specifically all of you runners, like I, there's a lot of you, hundreds of you, and even thousands of you watching every single day, and that is what I am most grateful for with respect to running in 2018. So to that, I raised my first beer of 2019, and um, gosh, thank you. I, I could go on all night, but I won't, because... We gotta go to bed and we gotta get ready for that live stream tomorrow. So, oh, you're the best. Thanks for being here. And thanks for uh, seeking beauty, working hard, and loving each other here on YouTube. All right? Woo! See you tomorrow.